Hello there guys, um, today is another one of my tutorials on Cinema 4D release 13. I'm going to be showing you how to create keyframes. This is incredibly simple and is pretty much imperative within Cinema 4D. You're going to need it at some point and this is kind of like a starter for people who don't really know what they're doing but want to be able to create moving images and moving blocks quickly. So as you can see down here, there's like this little keyframe which isn't obviously available at the moment because I haven't put anything in. This is what we're going to be using today. What you're basically going to do is I'm going to put in some text. So I'm going to go down to Mode Text which creates the depth already. I don't have to add a spline or anything. And then once I've put that in, I'm just going to change it to whatever I want. So I'm going to use my name. And then once I've put that in, it's all there. And what you're going to want to do is wherever it is, so I'm going to say there, we'll move it along a bit we're going to click the keyframe and once you click the keyframe you can see there's a tiny little blue marker that's down in this corner here you can move this wherever you want it to so we're going to move it to 10 and that's when it starts so if you press spacebar obviously nothing's going to happen sorry it's not spacebar you click play nothing will happen uh, if we go about to I don't know 30 we move it along to about there we click it again and then we move along to about 50 and we move it to there. As you can see, we've got this little like line that's appeared here. This is the motion of the objects that you're using. You're able to bend this and move it around. So I'm going to move it like that. It's going to probably look really bad. But as you can see, as I'm moving this back, it's now moving around that path of direction. So if I just hit it in play, it's going to move around. So you can do that any way you want, you can have it straight, you know, it's still going to move. You can up the speed on it by moving these keyframes closer to each other. The closer they are, the quicker it is, because obviously each frame is a second. Or around about a second. So obviously there, as you can see, that's much faster. This works with absolutely anything. You can use it with blocks, you can use it with... Uh, spheres, you can use it with words, you can use it with sets like planes, you can move it with figures, you can do everything with your keyframes and it's pretty useful. And if you want to delete them you just click on it as I did there, we'll get it up again as you can see yeah, you just highlight it so you click on it once it'll come up with these little boxes but don't worry about that and then just hit backspace and it's gone. So I'm going to quickly create something else now, I'm going to say a block and we're going to have it move around and maybe spin a bit. So if we put a keyframe on it at zero, or actually, yeah, we're just going to move that along to five. Sorry, I keep moving things. We're gonna, then we're going to create another keyframe at 15, and we're going to click this little box up here, which is your rotate tool. You can click R for your shortcut. Then we're just going to turn it around like this, move it up a little, and then we're going to add in another keyframe, and then we're going to move it again, and we're going to move it to about 30, sorry, we're going to move it again, because obviously you can't do it once you've moved it, you have to put it in again. Click it again, and we're going to move it to about 45, and then we're going to rotate it some more, and we're going to click it again. Now when I go back, it's going to turn around, and it's going to do a little animation. So you can use that with anything, you can make blocks move around. As I said, you can do anything, add any of the keyframes to any of these objects, you can add keyframes to any of these objects and these ones obviously these are sweet nerves and hive nerves and stuff which is what you use to create the boxes in the first place and create more dynamic animations which is what we'll be using in tutorials to come so there you go there's your quick keyframe tutorial and that should help you start making videos thank you for watching <laughs>